uh, hello guys and welcome to my new tutorial in this tutorial I'm going to show you uh, how to write a file to your Android uh, device so I will continue on my last project from my previous video uh, we have two methods for checking uh, external storage state and I will add uh, two edit text and one button in our uh, Android uh, activity main layout I will just change the width of those elements and the IDs of those elements as well after that uh, we are going to delete uh, text attribute and add the uh, hint attribute for the first edit text will be file name and for the second will be uh, text here and uh, android uh, and the button element will be named save file as you can see here so uh, let's back to our main activity uh, we are going to create two uh, edit text variables and we are, go we are going to initialize them in our onCreate method so now that we have um, those uh, variables uh, here we are going to add uh, uh, on click method on our button but first let's move this comment comment uh, down a little bit and we forgot to add the uh, on click attribute on our uh, button so let's do it we'll name it uh, write file so um, public void write file and pass view parameter So uh, we're going to use if block and uh, use our uh, created method, already created method is external storage writable. And uh, if it returns true, then, uh, then we are going to add the logic here. So create one uh, file object. and uh, we're going to pass two parameters uh, first parameter is uh, our external storage uh, path so we're going to use environment method get external storage directory it's pretty useful uh, method so uh, don't you try to use um, string instead of this method it's always uh, good practice to use it and the second parameter will be uh, file name which we will get from our edit text converted to string and after that we are going to create a file output stream object again uh, we need uh, to pass two parameters uh, one is uh, uh, I mean one parameter sorry and that parameter is a file object and after that we are going to use uh, method write and uh, we are going to get text and convert to string and again use uh, get bytes method from our text and close uh, file output stream uh, remember to close that it's very important if you don't want uh, io exception and uh, we'll use try catch a block to catch io exception just in case and uh, let's add one simple toast message um, to show you um, the file is successfully saved and in our else block if uh, external storage writable method is uh, false then we will generate again toast message saying uh, cannot write to external storage so um, we are almost there we just need to add permission to our uh, manifest android manifest file uh, we will use uh, write external storage permission and we need to add uh, one new method for um, runtime permissions which are um, 
needed um, in uh, newer Android uh, operating system versions. So create one boolean uh, method, check permission, and we're going to pass one parameter, string parameter. Now create the one integer variable to check self permission. We're going to pass two parameters, one for context and the second is the permission string. And we're going to return uh, check equals uh, package manager permission granted. So it will return true if it's granted or uh, false if it's not. And uh, we're going to use this method in uh, our if block in uh, write file uh, method. We're going to pass uh, string uh, write external storage. And uh, that's pretty much it. Well, we have created our application um, successfully. So now let's try it. I will run it on my Android. And uh, now let's check if that file was created successfully. We're going to use adb devices and adb root, adb shell to get access to our shell. And I will navigate to um, my external storage with the cd command, that's a Linux command. So now let's check for the file, which is named myfile.txt. Mm, okay, I think I saw it. And we'll use cat command to check what's inside this file. Just press enter. And uh, as you can see here, it stands, this is just simple text, which is the same message uh, we wrote. So that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and uh, see you in the next one.